What's going on, everybody? Mamskers, and welcome back to what probably is the finale of Let's Play Pitfall the Lost Expedition. Woo! Blinds! I'm just kidding, it's not blind at all. Oh boy! Okay, so in the last episode, we collected, we finished collecting all the idols, and um, we, we saw the last shaman. Everything's been made fantastic. Uh, this is actually a new recording session, so it's hard for me to see again, so excuse me if I have my torch out. But, you know, everything's in clear view, but I need it because I can't see without it because I'm a blind man, apparently. Uh, oh, this way. So, yeah, this is... We're... Ooh, don't fall, please. We're heading towards the last place of the game. The only spot we haven't examined yet in this game. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, no, these assholes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's the other one? Ha! There you are! Don't you try to escape me! With all your crazy hardcore parkour! Okay, I thought for sure they were gonna get me. Well, St. Clair's men here. Guess what? I don't care about you suckers! The gates of Alterado! Let's go! You have the artifacts! Now we can open the gate! And I'll be able to save my people. Someone throw a party and forget to invite me? Nikki, you have me worried. Oh, you're just in time. Mikke's about to go back in time and save El Dorado. Oh, right. Nicole, Mikke, Mikke, Nicole. Now let's Someone get on says. with the magic and the time travel and the saving thousands of people stuff. <laughs> Nicole! You've got to trust me. And Puska. Mike's plan is suicide. The Time Temple inside, powered by these artifacts, can send Mike back. But they don't have nearly the power to send El Dorado back a thousand years. Lies. These are Puska's lies. But Puska can use these artifacts to fight the Spanish. They'll give him the power he needs to save his people. Did Puska happen to mention that his original plan 500 years ago was to betray my people to the Spanish? Why would you believe Puska and not Mike? What did he promise you? I'm going to go with him. Back in time, but only a few months. I'm going to find my dad and save him. It's true. What can you offer her? Consolation? I offer her back her father. Deny her this, and you are colder than stone. Nicole, Puska killed your father. Remember how your dad looked? I saw Puska do the same thing to St. Clair, and he's about to do it to you! No! There's so much awkward silence here. Why is everyone so quiet? Quick Claw was right. I should have saved you. I let you down, Nikki. I messed everything up. Alright, like the last point of the game. And of course, TB! I'm sorry, that's hardly inappropriate. I mean, it's weird that Harry says, how, how can you trust um, um, Puska but not Mike? Well, maybe it's because she's never m met Mike, but she's, you know, talked to Puska. But, like, come on. How could she possibly trust someone with that voice? Did you guys not hear his voice? He just sounds evil, okay? <laughs> He's so like stereotypical evil voice, and oh uh, yeah, I'm just taking a look at the view here because it looks really cool. Um, yeah, all these pillars are knocked down, unfortunately. Anyways, yeah, Nicole's dead. She doesn't have the same look that Saint Clair and uh, her father did, though. 
Mm -hmm. Anyways, yep, let's head on to the gates of El Dorado. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. Ah, I see you've met my best. <laughs> oh, she's happy. I'm Super Saiyan! Butterfly? Figure. With all the power. Yeah. Resonating off of him. Let's do this! I do really like how they show that cutscene twice, because the second time it just so much epic, so many epics, and yeah, so now you have all your power-ups, but uh, he's a lot more powerful, he's a lot harder to dodge, um, he doesn't give up when you, when he like, dives at you and then he misses, he keeps running, and it's very hard to get him to stop and give you a chance, like sometimes it stops like that, he gives you a second, woo, uh, and yeah, if you punch his head now it hurts you. You could get away sometimes with punching his head and having it not hurt you. Oh man. It was kinda cool. It's the same fight. Ah, oh, you got me twice there, man. Ah! It's it's the same fight, but it's not. I don't know if I don't know if that works. I really want to see if TNT works. Oh, he, he knocks it out of my hand though. Alright. Uh, no! Damn it! I'm gonna die here in a minute. Ew! Okay, I should probably drink my water now. Uh Oh man, I can't, I can't drink it in time, man. Okay, okay, I've tried my best. Okay, I can run and drink. I thought so. Ah! Just might as well just drink it all. All right, I really want to test if died might work. Ah! Oh! Just out of like, just look, he's not even stopping now. I've only hit him three times. He's hit me. He's killed me. He's pretty much taken all, all my life. No, come on! No, come on! I really want to try that. I wasn't close enough. Alright. I guess the best bet here is just keep running until they like kind of... Nope, doesn't work. Okay, I can confirm. Flaming evil jaguars. Does not work. With flaming evil TNT. There we go. Punch him in the buns! <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, fortunately when he gives you the chance to attack, sometimes you're in the fire and you can do absolutely nothing. As we know, TNT doesn't work. Oh, but he stopped there. I probably could have ran up to him there. I was scared to run up to him and have him immediately charge me. Oh, ah, I was just going to say, I want to be careful. Of my Are you serious? There was nothing. I could have done nothing there. And he almost hit me again there. Uh, so, I mean, I always get to this part of like, it was a cinch the first time. It's going to be no harder the second time. And I don't know if it's just the pressure or what. Because, I mean... This boss battle always does feel really different to me, even though it's not, but I always I always seem to die to him. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah! Oh! I wasn't running fast enough. Alright, four more times. And then, I don't think you get healed, so I'm a bit worried about- Damn it. I'm a bit worried about that, of having a fight. Well, I guess that's kind of spoilers, but... <laughs> this isn't the final, final boss. Don't worry, you guys. That'd be a bit anticlimactic, wouldn't it? Well, maybe not. Oh, you gave me a chance there. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Oh, no! Damn it! That is, yeah, he gets more and more fierce, apparently. Are you ever going to stop? Come on. Damn it! When I said come on, I didn't mean actually keep going. No! <laughs> oh my good lord! 
Oh, oh, man. That sucks. Now I gotta start all over. Wow, okay, let's try to speed through this real quick. Alright, back down to 4 health. Can I pause it for a second there? Because I was doing wash in the background. <laughs> but I'm uh, washing my pills. And due to the weight of my pills when they have water to them, it like starts smashing against the side of the washing machine and causes it to make it be really loud. So I have to turn that down. Ah! Oh! Wow! Alright. The one thing you can do is you can kind of sideswipe him as he like tries to circle you. So I'm trying to do it right now. There we go, like that. But of course, that's very risky and very difficult to do. It almost seems like the oh, oh, I had such a good chance there. Uh, uh, goo. It's, uh... Oh, dang it! I thought I'd get him there. All right, now I got him. Oh! You know crazy you guys have seen this cutscene four times since my channel started? Oh man. So here we go. Jaguar Tiger guy! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> killed him. Oh, he's so much bigger than Quick Claw. Oh, yeah! The cat is back and he's all that! Who are you gonna call? Quick Claw! Who are you gonna call? Pussy Daddy! Pussy Caddy! Pussy Daddy! Pussy Caddy! That's so cool. Pusco <laughs> Puska! So many chances to live. Now your only option is to die. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dark! No, oh, why my cat? Oh, but I think I see what you're getting at. Oh, Quick Claw. So it's like, yeah, we got the fight with um, Quick Claw, Quick Claw, Quick Claw, buddy. Whoa! Ha ha ha! So yeah, with our glowy hands, we have superpowers now, and we can literally punch pillars at him, as I just did there. And he does this. I don't remember how to fight this guy to be honest. I remember the pillars, but I don't I remember nothing else about him. Actually I think he clones himself too. Oh there we go. Speaking of clones, we gotta like punch them all. We're gonna punch them all in the buns. Oh that's right. They like charge up and they shoot shit at me! Stop shooting your shit at me! Did they heal Oh they healed me! That's pretty nice. That's the nice of the game. Oh man. Also hate when I knock down the pillars by mistake as well. Oh he's right there. Bam? Question mark? Ah, oh, I move. Curses. No, don't knock it down! No! Dang it, he's too high in the sky. I hate when I knock these down because they're a lot harder to shoot upwards. You can't hit them again. But, uh, your aim is. Ah, oh, he moved again! Like, it's not even he's dodging them, he's just moving naturally and I'm missing. Now he's too high. Where is he now? Hello? It's up there. Oh, there he's there. Crap, man. No! Stop moving, you butts! Oh, I thought I hit him there because I felt my controller wrong. No! No! Stop it! <laughs> God dang it! We're almost running out of pillars that are standing. I think this might be the last one, actually, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. That was. Wow, he just flew into that. And he does this weird, freaking evil sham magic. Actually, has a spooky noise moon up in the sky. So hey, if you look in the background, there's actually an audience watching us. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're just loving it. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, even so, that's fine. I'm still like, getting two parts of damage. I have a full canteen still, right? I do. Okay, so. Pretty dang sure I'm fine. 
I believe if I do a rising strike, it'll it could help me a lot as well. Let's try it out. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> I think those pillars are stacked on each other there. Behind him there. So I'm gonna hit he's dead. Um I remember having a hard time with this boss in my let's my original let's play, I think. I don't know, actually I haven't watched my original let's play since I created it, so. Uh oh, oh man. Ah, he blew himself up even though it did nothing. It did nothing! Let's see if I can knock the pillar to this one. Oh! Don't you dare! Oh! Where is he? Is that it? I don't know, there's one more like in the background there. Oh, cool! I didn't know you go in here. It's like the gladiator holding room. Is there another one still? Yeah, if you listen carefully, you can't hear the audience cheering and such. Alright, are, are you prepared to die? Let's check. What the heck? What is he doing? Whoa! I don't know what that was, but you're dead now. And then he exploded inexplicably. <laughs> Yay, a really stupid audience. They can't really get a good look at it. It's not like St. Clair's name, to be honest. I, mean, I guess the theory it could be. But I think this is supposed to be the people of Huh? Oh, Mike, no! Did he kill her? Oh, oh I see. She transferred her life to the butterfly and now we're giving her back. Thank you. Though I'm a princess, I've never met a prince. Until now. Mwah. Shiny kisses. Hey, don't forget the cat. Mm. What? The prophecies didn't say anything about a cat. Well, you can't go believe in every prophecy you hear. I guess this is our life now. We'll never see our own time again. Any regrets? Two. I never got to apologize to Dr. Crane for treating him so poorly. That, and I couldn't save. Oh, it's Mickey's actual evil one. Just kidding. Nicole. Support the neck! Wait. Was she Necrophilia! And was she not just wearing her blue Wh shirt? What happened? It's a long story. That was weird. I guess you know, that's the power of the shiny There kiss. might be a lot of fish in the sea. But you got a good one. You can talk. You little liar. On the other hand, maybe you shouldn't rule out the other fish. So, what happens to you now? You heard me, Kay. I've been cursed. I don't fit into the world of man or animal. Hey, you're ever back this way? Look me up. How will I find you? Just get in trouble. I'll be there to save you. Aww. Just like I did this time. That's so cool. A butterfly! Unbelievable. Even with 500 years between us. She still finds a way to torment me. Figures she... Even after I...
So, what next? There's this man back home, Dr. David Crane, who I owe a long overdue visit. And there are some remote areas of Africa I want to check out. Roots of mankind. You need to do all that today? What do you have in mind? Where did that leaf come from? There was no big trees in there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, that's it. Edge of Reality. I don't know. I've, is that the name of a company that did this game? I don't even recognize that name. <laughs> ah, so ends. The replay of Pitfall Lost Expedition. And it makes me very sad. Very sad indeed. I gotta say, you guys, I'm so sad there isn't like an actual sequel to this game. Because there should be. This is such a fantastic game. Maybe that's just nostalgia. Because this was my first ever um, GameCube game. And one of my first ever games. I, well, first ever console game I ever owned, I should say. Well, kind of. Minus like... When my parents got like an Atari 2600 and a Sega Master System when I was like very young and played at the cottage. But this is the first real quote unquote like full out game I've played that isn't ancient retro stuff. And um, yeah, I gotta say, it was, it's just such a good game. I love it. The story's great. Like the characters are great. I was like, come on, Harry's one of the best. Like, I, I did say I love Quick Claw. Like, he's one of my favorite Nintendo characters. But then it was pointed out to me that he's not actually Nintendo because this was released on Xbox and PC as well. I don't think it was released on um, PlayStation though. But I'm so sad this game. Like, he even like hints that there's remote ruins in Africa he wants to go visit. Like, that's kind of. I feel like that was kind of their way of being. Like, hey, maybe we'll do another game with this. And then they, you know, of course, never really happened. There are other Pitfall games, but it's all, like, you know, mobile games. Like, there's a Temple Run version of this game. There's, like, a... I think there's actually, like, a Game Boy game and all that. Uh, there might be, like, a DS game, too. But, uh, they're all, like, you know, they're all very, very catered to, 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 uh, towards children without any good story like this one. Like, th this was definitely catered towards, like... Um, uh, I guess middle-aged teens, <laughs> middle-aged, but y you know what I'm saying, like, in their, like, mid-teen years, like, 15, 16-year-olds, well, maybe even younger than that, but, um, I don't know, I just, it's, it's so good, I love the story behind it, it, it is really short, I will give it that, um, like, like, if, if the best way to tell if a game, how the length of a game, for me at least, is how many Let's Play parts I can make of this. And this is what, part 25-ish, 26? I don't remember exactly, but, um, I mean, that really just goes to show that this isn't the longest game, and, uh, I mean, especially for, like, replay value, but I have been looking forward to this, to replaying this game for quite a while. I did promise a long time ago I'd be replaying this game, so here it is, in all its glory. Kind of. Well, I guess really in all its glory. Uh, the sidebars... I wasn't the happy, happiest with either, just because there's there's absolutely no resources on this game on the internet at all. But you know, I made do with what I had. I used the. Thankfully, they did like the, the the journal, in this game, so I could just you know look at that stuff, and that made things very uh, useful for me. Even though like even the idols, they don't really look the best in the sidebar, but it was really the best I could do do, do with like what I had. So. Yeah, and also the explorers. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the uh, the, the guy I'm using for the explorers and the sidebar is actually St. Clair. There is no sketch of like an explorer or anything in the handbook, so that's unfortunate. But once again, just kind of dealing with what I got. And he, he is an explorer technically, <laughs> just not one that gives us idols. Um, Shaman, I got lucky with, and the heroic handbook stuff. Thankfully, there's sketches on that. Brain Zoo Studios. So yeah, I'll have to like, you know, write these guys a letter and be like, MAKE ANOTHER PITFALL GAME, I WILL GIVE YOU A BILLION DOLLARS THAT I DON'T HAVE! <laughs> uh, but yeah, Burger Bill Hyman. So yeah, I guess this is another Let's Play done. Uh, I guess we'll see what the future holds in store. I mean, I don't really want to make my channel redoing Let's Plays I've already done, because that's kind of... You know, it, it's bad to live in the past, and I've already done. Um, Reno Romano did Quick Claw. 
cool. Great to know. Guard number two. I have no idea who that could poss possibly be. Who are the guards? The guards? Maybe in the, in the native village or maybe um, St. Clair's men that talk? Hey, you! <laughs> yeah, that's the credits. Congratulations, you saved the day and found all the hidden secrets. See you again for Harry's next adventure. <laughs> Stop reminding me! To save the girl, we've unlocked a new outfit. On the title screen, hold L and R and press the following buttons. Left, up, down, up, X, up, up. So, um, yep, I'm not going to be showing off the the, co the secret codes and all that. I'm not going to be doing any bonus episodes with that. You guys can check out my original Let's Play if you want to see that. Just because, you know, I don't really have anything new to add to that. And even though this Let's Play, well, this Let's Play didn't have something new to add to it. But there's nothing really interesting to show with that again. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is the last time you'll be seeing Pitfall on the British on my channel, unless I stream on YouTube or something. But you know, streaming has been something I've always wanted to do. Firebomb towers and just I don't know. Oh, you know what? One, uh, you know what? Let's actually head back in here. This is this is a good place as any to end off the let's play. Well, then again, I was thinking about hitting back to the crash site and where we began. The, oh, are you serious? Why are you guys here? Ruining the moment. Puska's dead, okay? There's nothing you guys can do about it. Wow, we just freaking murdered those guys. Let's read the journal entries. Since, you know, we are going to have something on that. Uh, journal. 26 and 27. Entry 26. January 26, 1935, 6.41 a.m. Wow, St. Clair's dead. Pus killed by Puska. Did I, did I not read this already? Yeah. I think I, well, I don't know if I read this or not. Killed by Bus Puska, I can't believe it. Puska was using St. Clair the whole time, even though St. Clair thought I was the other way around. Always knew stupidity would be the end of him. So long, mon ami. I'm pretty sure I read this already. You know, I did read this. Screw it, let's, let's just read the last one. Entry 27. January 26, 1935, 7.15 a.m. I blew it. I messed it all up. How could I let it happen? What could I have done? I got to Mike, no problem. We were about to use the artifacts to open the way to the ruins of El Dorado, and then Nicole showed up. I was so happy... I was so happy, so happy to see her. I got, I got sloppy. Didn't even ask where she'd been, what happened. Just accepted it. I was so glad to see her. How could I have been so stupid? We opened the doors and everything seemed fine, and then it happened. She grabbed the artifacts and gave them to him, to Puska. He had appeared out of nowhere. He used her to fool me to get the artifacts without a fight. I asked her why she was doing it. Why would she betray us? She said she made a deal. Puska was going to take her back in time, six months ago. He was going to give her the chance to save her father. She was so blinded by him, by the idea of saving him, she couldn't see what he was and what she was doing. And I can't blame her, it's my fault. I wanted to do something, but Puska was holding all the cards. I could tell he'd kill her if I made the move. I should have played it safe, should have found a way, but no, I was cocky. Figured I could save her. Figured I was fast enough. I made my move, but I was wrong, and Puska struck her down as fast as I could blink. And then he was gone with the artifacts and Mike. Nicole is dead. It's my fault. If I'd listened to Quicklot, if I, if I hadn't been stupid, love-struck schoolboy, if I had played a cool, any of these things, then she'd still be alive. But there's nothing I could do now. Nothing but catch Puska and finish it for him, like he's finished it for me. He's not gonna get away. And that's it. That's why is there no follow-up entry? There should be. What the heck, man. And uh, did all the hints fill out? I guess they did. Of course, I never read any of these because, well, they're just they're just um, explore or ex explain controls, the bestiary. Yeah, I read all those inventory. Guess all that would be filled out long ago. Pro handbook. Yep, read all that. Native games. And I guess it's just tell you. Yeah, they just tell you what's going on here. You must return to the native village to compete, compete in the games. So yeah, I guess that's really it. And the native shop is all grayed out. Oh, I'm so sad this is over, you guys. This was such a great game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, best way to support me and my channel is leave a like and subscribe. Well, if I just heard another St. Clair's man. I know you can't enter this place again, unfortunately, unless there's some crazy way that I don't know about it. And I'm pretty sure there isn't. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, such a great game. Um, I really do wish that these guys make a sequel one day, but I mean, if there, if there hasn't been news on it at this point, I'm pretty sure there ever won't be. They've made their choice to cater towards children's. 
So, you know, it's pretty sad, but, you know, if that's the way it's gonna be, at least you got this great game out of it. So, yes, thank you guys. I will see you guys for our next Let's Play. Bye bye!